Hey guys, what's up? It's Steve. So as of posting this video, there's about one more week left until Christmas. If you're looking for any barbecue or grilling kind of last minute ideas, I've got something for you. This is the new Thermoworks Smoke. What this is is a two channel wireless cooking thermometer. This is a highly anticipated product uh, that Thermoworks fans like myself have been waiting for. Let's go ahead and check this out. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look. This is what it's gonna look like straight in the packaging. You got a nice little shot of the base station here and the receiver. So we'll go ahead and get this opened up. All right, it's got some operating instructions. We'll just set those aside. And then here we go. So we'll look at all the components here. So here's our receiver. I'll just pop this out and both of these are going to have the little protective screens on them so you can see that there and then the base station and then we've got our two probes this is going to be our meat probe right here this is going to be our ambient probe right here and as always with thermworks products you can just see how well built these probes are and here's going to be the little clip for putting the ambient uh, pit probe through that and it's just going to clip on your uh, cooking grate and this is going to be a little lanyard uh, for your receiver here all right so let's take a look at the base station here so i've got it uh, the protective screen taken off and then uh, it takes AA batteries, both the base and the receiver take AA batteries, and then there's a, a nice little kickstand on the back. Uh, you've got an on and off button back here where you can change from Celsius to Fahrenheit. This thing comes uh, uh, already synced up with the receiver straight from the factory, so you don't have to mess with that. If you wanted to sync it up with uh, any other receivers, then you've got a button right here. This is a calibrate button, but again, these come already calibrated straight from the factory, so you're, you're um, most likely not ever gonna have to mess with that. So we'll turn it around. I'll go ahead and uh, take, a, take a look at some of the features here. So it's got a, like all Thermalworks products, it's got this amazing backlight on it. I think it stays on for about 15 seconds. And also like uh, all Thermworks products, at least the ones that I use, it's incredibly simple to operate. So here's our two channels where you can monitor either uh, your pit temperature or the food. And you've got a um, on off button on both sides for the uh, alarm. So uh, you can have an audible alarm on the base station, uh, on the base station itself or you can just have the alarm going off on the receiver or on both, whatever you want. So you can turn that on and off on both of those. And then you essentially have a volume button down here that's gonna increase the volume there of your alarm. Or you can just turn it completely off. And then all you have to do is you hit set and then you just push uh, up or down and increase the high the high alarm right there and then hit it again and it's going to switch down to the low alarm and you just do that and then you hit set and you're done and then same thing hit it up there and you can go ahead and just can uh, dial in your high and low alarms so that's all you've got to do it's going to take you about five seconds to set up your cook and then you're good to go Okay, so right here on the side is where you're gonna hook your two probes in. Just like that. So now that we've got the probes in the base station, I wanted to walk you through the functionality of the receiver here. The receiver is currently turned off because I want you to see how quick it's gonna sync up to the base station. This is a multi-function button. I'll walk you through the different functions of this button, but the first thing, and we're gonna go ahead and just push it and it's gonna turn on.
And so what you just saw there was where it was saying uh, CON, that it was connecting and it took about one second to connect. Now that it's on, if we push our button here, it's going to give you the backlight. What it also does is if your alarm is going off on the receiver, you can push the button again, that'll turn the alarm off. And then if you hold it down for about three seconds, it turns the receiver completely off. So this is a nice design. You can see it's gonna fit uh, very comfortably in your hand or in your pocket. With the lanyard, you can wear it around your waist. It's got this nice uh, rubber kind of bevel going around the end that just makes it feel really good in the hand. And then it does um, you know, come with that lanyard if you wanna wear it around your neck. And that's about it. So straight out of the box, uh, very simple to set up and get going on your cook. One thing that I feel is absolutely crucial to point out with the new smoke, especially if you're you know, considering picking one up, is that it is using radio frequency, which is going to give you great range. They state 300 feet. That's probably kind of an optimal setting where you don't have any obstructions and things like that. But this unit is gonna have great uh, range around your house and whatnot. But in spring of 2017, uh, they are gonna be releasing what they're calling the Smoke Gateway. I've got a picture of it right here. And what, what that little device is gonna do is it's gonna pair with the smoke essentially. It's gonna be like a new add-on. And the smoke will communicate to the Smoke Gateway, which is a Wi-Fi device, which will then be communicating uh, your cook settings out to the cloud that you'll be able to read on a phone or tablet. So though that capability isn't here right now, it's coming very soon. And so you're gonna have the best of both worlds where you're gonna have radio, uh, you know, great radio frequency range or uh, Wi-Fi enabled readings that you can read when you're mobile. All right guys, and finally, I'm gonna go ahead and put this thing to use on uh, my first cook with it. We're out here at my Kamado Joe ceramic Kamado, and I'm just gonna go ahead and take the, I've got a couple nice pork tenderloins here, and I'm just gonna go ahead and slide that probe into this guy right here, and go ahead and get that hooked up to the base. All right, you can see we've got a nice readout on the top here for this pork tenderloin. I've got it set to uh, the high alarm for 135 degrees. I typically pull pork tenderloin right around 135 let them rest for a bit and um, that's about it so we're just going to let this thing uh, just do its thing a um, couple quick closing comments i've got a link in the video description so you can go check these out um, this is going to be kind of a no-brainer product if you're looking for a nice little wireless uh, cooking thermometer that monitors both pit temperature and food temperature. So uh, I've got some other reviews of some other Thermworks products that I'll have in the video description as well. If you have any questions whatsoever, please let me know in the comments and I appreciate you guys watching. We'll see you again soon.